Shalom Aleichem everyone, hope everyone had a very, very good week. Finally, 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 I think the Kriya Satora and Eretz Yisrael and Chutz Tarts are linking in and in both around the world. We are going to be Messiahim and we're going to have a week of Chazak, Chazak, Venez Chazek, the end of Sefer Vayikra in Chutz Tarts, Bahar Bechukosai, in Eretz Yisrael Bechukosai, and then we are once again united as we get ready for Chag Ashwas. A quick thought that will hopefully bridge both these ideas and maybe a personal story as well. So in Parshas Bahar, we read about the mitzvah of Yovel, and as an inauguration to the mitzvah of Yovel, the Torah tells us one of the mitzvahs is a tkiah shofar, on Yom Kippur of the Yovel year, there is a shofar blast, just like the shofar blast that we have on Rosh Hashanah, Malchio, Zechronos, Mishorait, the Yovel year. That is the mitzvah of tkiah shofar in the beginning of the Yovel year. And the Sefer Achinuch wants to know what is this mitzvah all about. And the Sefer Achinuch has a very famous comment, which is a very important comment in all areas of Avodah Hashem. Mishor sheha mitzvah lifi shiadua. He kol ha-shofar ta'or alei b'nei adam im l'shalom v'im l'milchama. The shofar has a power. We hear the shofar, it evokes strong emotions in Jewish people. And it motivates us to action. Uru, uru, yeshenim mishinaschem. And says the Sefer Chinov that Inyan Shiluach Ha'evel Sha'avel Es Adonav Zman Rav, Hu Kashem Ma'od Be'enei Adonav. As part of the Yovel, you have to release your Avadim, Shiluach Avadim. And to get rid of an Eved for an Adon is a very, very difficult thing to do. He's been living with you for a long time, part of your family. A, as a worker in the household, but most people who have, if you will, live in help, the help really becomes a member of the family. And yes, the work that they do is very, very important, but also just them being there as helping with the children, helping in the home, etc., is vital in many, many mishpachos, both on a physical level, but also on an emotional level. So to release Havadim is a very, very difficult thing to do. And therefore, al kain la orer leiv habrios ala inyan la chazik nafsham la hazir mala mitzvah. That's why, in order to give us a hisorus, that's why we have a mitzvah of kol shofar to inspire us that no matter how hard it is, it's something we have to do. And when a person hears that shofar, he realizes ki davar hashave hu ba kol haaretz. It's not just me doing it. If it was just me alone doing it, it might be too tough. But everyone is doing it. Hakol Osin came. Everyone's commanded. When I know everyone's doing it, we're all in it together. We're all experiencing this and have this shared challenge. So that is Ain Dover Shechazik Libos Bnei Adam Kmo Maisa Harabin. What's going to help me as an individual perform my obligation is know is knowing that there are others in it with me as well, and that I'm not alone. I'm doing it with a GOC. It's not just me. There are other people, growth-oriented chevra that is involved in this activity, and then it makes it so much easier. That's the message, what I will call the message of positive peer pressure. Because all too often, peer pressure, we hear about negative peer pressure. But the power of knowing that you're doing this with a chevra, it's not just you, it gives us a tremendous, tremendous sense of chizuk, and says the Sefer Achino, that's the mitzvah of the kol shofar, and it's the same idea, the same kol shofar that we blast on Rosh Hashanah. That same idea, the same kolos, because in the same way that we're inspired to action on Yemei Hadin, so knowing that we're doing things with others is also tremendously, tremendously inspiring. And as we get to the beginning of this week's parasha, parasha Bechukosai, so the Torah tells in the very, very famous opening pasuk that in Bechukosai teleichu ve'es mitzvosai tishmoru ani Hashem, and Rashi famously comments, what does it mean, Bechukosai Teilechu, you shall walk in the mitzvos. After all, in Bechukosai, you should walk in the commands. If it says, the est mitzvosai tishmoru, so Chukosai does not mean mitzvos. That's already covered in the second part of the Pasuk. Rather, in Bechukosai Teilechu, says Rashi, Shetehei Amelim Batoro, to be invested in learning, to be invested, have a kfius every single day. And that's the mission of Im Bechu Kosai Telechu, is that we're invested in Torah and then our Telechu, our walkings, is walkings as a Ben Torah. And this is a tremendous Nisayun as we go out into the world, 
whether we're in school, whether we're working, to go ahead and make sure that we have that Amelus Batora is so critical, yet so difficult. And the Rambam writes very strikingly in Hilchos Talmud Torah, it's a beautiful Rambam. The Rambam points out that Kol Ish, this is found in Perak Aleph Halachaches, Kol Ish mi Yisrael chayev b'Talmud Torah. Everyone is chayev in Talmud Torah. There's not a Jew who's not chayev. No matter what your challenge is, you're chayev in Talmud Torah. Listen to this. Ben Ani, Ben Asher, Ben Sholem Begufo, Ben Baal Yisurin. Whatever you're suffering, there's nisyonos of wealth, nisyonos of poverty, nisyonos of being handicapped, nisyonos of good health, of vigor. Whether you're young, ben bachur, ben shuhuzoken godol v'tosha koho. Whether you're an elderly person, the obligation, no matter what your challenge, afilu hoya ani hamisparnis minatzdaka. Even if you have to, you're an ani who has to knock on doors to make a living, to have food on the table. All these nisyonos. And then he says something stunning. What's the biggest nisayon at all? Of all, the biggest challenge when it comes to being kaveh eating la Torah. Age, handicap, poverty, you know what the biggest Nisayan says the Rambam? Unbelievable. The Afil, even if, even a person who is Baal Isha Ubanim, even if he's married and has children, even he has a Chiv to learn every single day. Wow. So, in other words, a person who's just dealing with life, the regular challenges of life, of Shalom Bayis in the household, of raising a family, of being a farnace of family, the everyday challenges which Be'ezus Hashem, we all have the schus of having to deal with. Sometimes it's those everyday things that are just kind of there, challenges, nisyonos, burdens, and opportunities. But nevertheless, Talmud Torah has to play a critical part of my Seder Hayom. And when you do things together with others, you know, when it's just me, and I have my hour a day that I'm going to learn, it's hard. It's hard when you're juggling so many different things. But I think that's the message of Parshas Bahar, of the shofar, is when you have an environment of positive peer pressure, when you're with the chevra where everyone is learning every single day, where if you're not learning, you're the loser, and that it's the right thing to be, to, to be doing. When you have a chabura, when you have a night seder, when you have a Dafyomi situation going, all of a sudden I'm part of something, then yes, getting out at night might be tough, but that positive peer pressure is what pushes me over the top. And we all have to do our own little tricks to get ourselves motivated, to continue growing in Torah, to continue that connection of in the Chukosateleich. And I just want to share with you uh, something that I recently took on, a little trick of mine, and so far, so far so good, but um, as perhaps um, I told over a story at my father's, um, at my father's Levaya, at his Hespeg, um, of, uh, of how I somehow, in an improper way, inspired him in, uh, to do some learning. We were, as a youngster, again, I might have told this over a couple of weeks ago, but I'm going to say it over again because it ties in to what I want to mention right now. And that is, um, we were uh, walking to shul when I was a youngster of 16, and um, we were talking sports, we were talking silly things. My father commented to me, if I knew my learning, my Gemara, as much as I knew my sports, I'd be in good shape. I said to my father, yeah, Dad, what about you? And my father's response to that was, he started Dafyomi. From that day on, he started Dafyomi, and he finished four cycles of Dafyomi. Every single day, day in, day out, he was part of a Chabura, learning Dafyomi. So my brother, myself, my son, my brother-in-law, other family members, Lilu Nishmas, my father, we took, we had Beli Neder, we took a Kabbalah upon ourselves to learn Dafyom. We started Seder, with Seder Kachim, it started three and a half weeks ago, we're on Daf Chav Hei Chavav today. And I've been doing Dafyom now for 25, 26 days. And what I see, just in this short period of time, is number one, A, the power of a daily commitment. A daily commitment. Dafyomi, Omad Yomi, Mishnah Yomi, Halach Yomi, whatever it might be, MB Yomi, but the power of a daily commitment and the power to know that you're doing it with others. My brother and I have a weekly Chavrusa. He lives in the States. I live here in Eretz of course. A weekly Chavrusa once a week on Thursdays. And we learn that day's daf. 
So now all of a sudden it's not just me on my own, but I have a mechuyavus to him, he has one to me. We took upon ourselves a Kabbalah, I learned with my son on a nightly basis. A chabura starts to form, and that of course is the worldwide chabura of Daf Yomi. But I know for myself I get busy. A lot of things going on. And I know sometimes by actually saying this publicly, in this form, on a YouTube video, that creates more of a mechuyavu. So now, in a month's time, two months' time, someone, a Talmud, an alumni, is going to say to me, New Rebbe, how's Daf Yomi going? And I'm going to say, oh, I quit? It's not going to look good. So I'm doing this on purpose, in public, for the world to see, to build that sense of mechuyavus. I know by me, by me, I don't like to spend money. So I decided I'm going to financially become invested. So I got these nice little pocket gemaras, which cost me whatever, 40 shekel a month, whatever it might be, but creates a further incentive. I want to get my money's worth. And therefore to make sure I'm using that gemara every day. So the Sefer Achinuch is telling us, we need support. We need the support of others. We need the chizuk of a group. We need, the Bali Musa say, we need to turn ourselves into a mukhrach, into someone who is now compelled. And when it comes to all areas of Avodos Hashem, but certainly learning, if you find it difficult every day, figure out how you can join a chabura. Figure out how you can make yourself into a mukhrach, someone who is now obligated to do it by these various kinds of tricks, if you will. But one does so, and all of a sudden one sees, I've never learned Seder Kutchen. And in my three and a half weeks so far, I'm learning new things all the time. And I'm feeling more connected to areas of Torah that I had no connection to whatsoever. So perhaps, perhaps, perhaps the vision of Im Bechukosai Telechu Shetehei Amelim Torah, as we finish Sefer Vayikra, and as we get ready for Chagashvuos, to think, not just to let these last days of Sefer Omer pass us by, but to think for real, what Kabbalos am I doing in learning? What am I going to do to make Torah learning at least a minimal part of every single day of my life? Because if we do so, we will be uplifted, we will be enriched, we'll have a greater sense of our connection to Avodos Hashem, to Yiddishkeit, and ultimately we'll be able to pass that legacy and that tradition, that Masorah, onto our children, because we are on the verge and on the process of becoming Tamir Chachamim, and in our walkings in life, in Bechu Kosa Telechu, we become the embodiment of that sense of Amelus Batorah.